So we left off having just made our way to the university and met the aunt's caravan and the adventure continued and at the end of three days I was in love with India. Being tired, being dirty, strange food, strange places, strange customs, rich, everlasting gift, acceptance, magical, these are all India. This place gets inside you. Dog trots freely in the street. Don't you? <coughs> Don't you be mean. Hey. Ah, oh, stop it. Don't be so mean. It feels like breathing in new life. It makes you rethink, reconsider, reevaluate. It gets inside you, it gets into your psyche. I've been told that the people here lead with their heart. I don't want to lose this feeling. I don't want to lose this place in my heart. Coming in to India is like coming home to who you are. Part of India is not what you see, it's what you feel, and what you value, and what you learn, and how you grow. It is a gift. Makes you want to stay. This place gets to you. This place has gotten to me. I wish I had video of the ride back to Bubbly in Adito's van with no lights because the fuse went just as we began. We came across a man moving his cows along the road in the dark. Everything was pitch dark. The stars were amazing. Cheyenne jumped out of the van to take photos and make art. And then he got into an altercation with some drunk men on a motorcycle. I'm not sure what they were on about. Uh, and then Adito and Raul were out of the van and I'm sitting in the van on the side of the road surrounded by cows. Amazing. This is Andy's chicken by the way and we're back at Bubbly. <laughs>
This is a local train, a lot more crowded than ours. And now we're going on the ferry because the traffic will be bad. We're going on the ferry to get to the other side, the city side of the river, which was a really cool experience. This ferry is going to land against our ferry and all these people are going through our ferry to get off. I thought that was a lot of people till we got to the shore where the cricket crowd was and it was like trying to hold back the sea trying to get off this ferry. But like all good things, we are now back in Calcutta, back with the pollution, back with the noise, back home it feels like. And it has just been a wonderful, wonderful trip. I've seen things and experienced things 